to put it simply, um, everybody is a particular type of bathroom, and then everybody is a particular type of bathroom user. As we continue to discuss the chasm between black men and black women or men and women, um, you know, a lot of times we hear, or at least as guys, we hear other guys complain that, yo, bro, these, these girls only go for a certain type of dude. They want the damaged dude. They want the thug dude. They want the, you know what I'm saying, the potential dude. But like, it's a lot of good dudes out here that they overlook because they want these guys. And then you have women complaining that, yo, guys come into my life and they mess stuff up or guys come into my life and they leave me broken. I have several theories as to why that is. When we talk about like nice guys finish last, I have theories on that and I'll probably make videos on that in the future. But this particular theory, I think, um, might put things into perspective for certain people. There is something to be said for women and their nurturing nature. Like women need to nurture, women need to take care of something. And you know, you have a lot of girls, you know, in high school, middle school, even in college, they, you know, might want a dog, like a little dog to look after, you know, or they start getting baby fever. And it has a lot to do with their psychological wiring, you know, they, they must care for something. And then it's socialized into them as well that a woman's worth, a woman's values, her ability to take care of something. So. You know, as guys, we, we, we see some women aspiring to be like a Keisha Kaor, who turned a Gucci man from what he was to what he is now. Bathroom A is the immaculate bathroom. It's a super clean bathroom. It's the Roof Chris uh, Four Seasons bathroom. You walk in, there's no toilet paper because it's like towels. Like you have to even use a towel, warm towel to, to wipe your butt. And it's super nice gold ceilings, really nice ambient lighting. Um, you know, everything is spick and span. Bathroom B is a normal bathroom. It's just everybody's regular bathroom. It's not super clean, but you know, it's not super dirty either. It's, you know, you come in, you take your time, you do what you need to do, wash your hands and you leave. And then bathroom C is the truck stop bathroom. It's the disgusting bathroom that you come in, you run in real fast or better yet, it's a porta potty. You, you run in real fast, you pee or whatever you need to do, use your foot to flush, you know, and then uh, you wash your hands or maybe you don't wash your hands and then you, you be out as quickly as you can. So those are the three types of bathrooms. So when the janitor, person A, enters bathroom A, the super clean bathroom, they want to leave it even cleaner than it was when they came in. If they drop any bit of water when they're washing their hands on the counter, they wipe it down. You know, they fold even the towel that they just use and, and, and place it, you know, where it needs to be. They, they wipe things. They even wipe the mirror. The person before them left some, you know, residue. But for the most part, they either leave it as clean as it was or even cleaner. That's person A. Now, when person A walks into the regular bathroom, they definitely leave it cleaner than it was when they got there. You know, they wipe down the mirror, you know, they wipe the counter, you know, after they do what they need to do. So the janitor goes into bathroom C, that's the dirty bathroom, that's the truck stop bathroom, and they attempt to clean it to the best of their ability. They spend more time in that bathroom than they need to. They try to even wipe the toilet seat. They, they make, uh, paper towel glove and try to do what they can and make it cleaner than it was when they got there. Now, person B, that's the regular person. They come into that fancy Four Seasons bathroom and they make sure they don't make it dirty because they want to maintain what it was. Um, but they're not necessarily trying to make it better. They just maintain what it was. Um, they come into the regular bathroom and again, come in, wash their hands, you know, whatever. They're, they're out. They try to maintain what it was. They go into bathroom C. That's the truck stop bathroom. They run in, <laughs> wash their hands real quick. You know what I'm saying? Use their, their foot to flush the toilet. And then they're out quick, faster than a hurry. They just want to use it for its utility. And then they're gone. Now, person C, this is the anarchist. They come into the Four Seasons bathroom. They come into the Roof Chris bathroom. And they see how nice it is. 
And instead of wanting to either make it better or maintain its niceness, they try to fuck it up. They use the, the towel, they wipe their ass, they throw it on the floor. You know what I'm saying? They spit on the, on the mirror. You know, they make sure that that Root Chris bathroom is less than it was when they got there. Uh, they go into bathroom B, the regular bathroom. And again, it's not super clean, but they make sure, you know, they, they click carelessly, pee all over the toilet seat. You know what I mean? Use the paper towel, throw it on the ground. So when they leave, it looks more like uh, the truck stop bathroom than a regular bathroom. And then if they go into the truck stop bathroom, they're home. You know, they're the ones who write the graffiti on the wall. They're the ones who shit and wipe it on the wall or spit at the, at the mirror. You know, because they don't care. They want, they, that, that is home for them. And they're going to make sure it, it remains that way or it's even worse after they leave. Now, if you consider the fact that we're all one of those types of bathrooms and we're all one of those types of people, um, it's then incumbent upon you to, to, to realize and dictate what type of bathroom you want to be. And if we're operating under the understanding that most people are person B and they're just going to maintain the status quo, it starts making sense why even the good guys come into your life, use you for your utility, because you're still a bathroom, and they're quick to leave because they realize what you were. You were a truck stop bathroom, and they are not equipped as a janitor or have the time or the energy to spend cleaning you. So they just use you for your utility and they're out. Or are you a Ruth Chris bathroom, but you keep letting anarchists in the door? Some people have a janitorial personality type is what I'd like to call it. In every situation that they find themselves in, um, when they enter somebody's life, AKA bathroom, um, they want to leave it better than they found it. They want to um, reset it into what it could potentially be. They want to improve on the person. Um, so you have guys who have um, what we call save a hole syndrome. Um, you know, the great J. Cole said, don't save her. She doesn't want to be saved. Um, but they attempt to save <clears throat> everybody. They attempt to enter every bathroom and try their best to clean it. Even from the Four Seasons Hotel bathroom all the way down to the truck stop bathroom. They attempt to clean it. If they enter the truck stop bathroom and attempt to do that, it leaves them dirtier than they came in. Um, now... With most of us, I would say 90% of people are just regular people. We want to come into a space, aka regular bathroom, and we want to maintain what it was. So if it was a regular bathroom, we'll spend a good amount of time there, use it, you know, wash our hands, you know, be in the person's life, enjoy um, their, their company, they enjoy ours, and we either grow with them or we amicably split. Or if they enter a Ruth Chris bathroom, a normal bathroom visit might take 10 minutes, but they decide to stay there 30 minutes because they're just enjoying being in such a great environment. Similarly to being with a great person, you will spend time and it will even improve you as a person. You will go home and now your mission for the next weekend is to turn your bathroom into, you know, into a better bathroom, aka make yourself a better version of yourself because of the new paradigm that that uh, Four Seasons Hotel bathroom is set in your life. But we all have to be wary of the anarchists. We have to make sure we are not an anarchist and we have to make sure we stay away from anarchists. Even if you are an empath and a fixer, janitor personality type, you cannot clean every bathroom. Now, if you are an anarchist, you need to understand that if you go into environments and make it worse than it was when you got there, karma will get you. God will get you. You have to first clean yourself. You have to first set a new precedent for yourself. And then for everybody else, you can't fix everybody. You can't clean every bathroom. So it's incumbent upon you to either find a bathroom that is comfortable and you can maintain the status quo or find a bathroom that makes you have to improve yourself 
to, to really, really fully enjoy that environment.